let's go on to yogurt. Live active cultures we're talking about, not the super processed all sugar stuff. We're talking about the ones that say live active cultures. They have vitamin B12, they are another complete protein. So, so far we've only talked about soy and yogurt as being complete proteins. So for the vegetarians and vegans that you know, these are the things they should be having. Also includes potassium, magnesium, calcium, vit vitamin B2, that's a water soluble, and zinc for, um, for wound healing. Pre and probiotics, because that's the big buzzword now. The prebiotics will stimulate growth of be beneficial bacteria in the colon. There's good bacteria and bad bacteria. We only hear about the bad ones, but there are good bacteria that help people and they will stimulate the growth of the good guys. The probiotics are live microorganisms that will benefit health. So the probiotics are actually live organisms. Prebiotics just help the, the ones that are in there already, okay? And the probiotics will be disease fighters. They absorb the mutagens that cause the cancer. They stimulate the immune system, very good thing to have. You could have someone that has no immune system and there's no antibiotic that's going to save them. You need an immune system and the antibiotics will help it. Alleviate eczema. You have people that you know that have eczema that just suffer all the time, so they need to increase their probiotics. And partial treatment for irritable bowel. So, because it's the good guys, the good bacteria that the bowel needs and reduce the cholesterol because it kind of gets things moving along a little faster.